What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrenrad89 here bringing you a movie review today. We're going to be talking about M. Night Shyamalan's 2015 thriller, The Visit. Stay tuned, non-spoiler review. Let's roll it. Now let me start by saying that this was definitely the second best time I've had watching one of his films. My first being Lady in the Water. That's my favorite film of his. And this film was definitely a close second in terms of my entertainment value and watching the film and how engaged I was with the film. <clears throat> it's just the tone that he was going to set for from the very beginning nailed it for me. Just it was like... It kind of was a little slow, but it, it really intrigued me and I wanted more and every minute that it kept going and going, I was just more interested and that's what I liked about it. And what's good is it's a very simple story and it's focused on these very small character casts. So you get to really grow and experience these characters and that's what's great. I love that when M. Night Shyamalan is focusing on like a small group of characters and his writing and you really get to grow with them and experience their growth throughout the film. And this one, Becca and Tyler, it was a real risk for him to go with child actors as your like really main focus characters. And you really need them to carry this film because it's such a small cast. And I think they both nailed it fan fabulously. Olivia Dijon plays Becca. She was fabulous. And Ed Oxenbold, I think is how you say his name. <clears throat> he plays Tyler. And they both, for me, were very believable characters and I was very enjoyed and engaged with them and especially the documentary like found footage style shooting of it that lends itself to telling the story and really gets you more engaged with it when you're watching it because you're seeing it from their point of view basically. Now the grandparents were definitely creepy for sure. That's a whole nother level. It was like you, you're almost sympathetic and empathetic for them at the same time, but it's still so creepy when it's happening and the moments just kind of make your hair stand on end and they really make you like, oh, wow, like that's, that's kind of crazy. And then it works for me too is because Tyler, he's my favorite character in the film and he has this comical relief aspect to him and like some of the lines that he delivers, especially after some of the creepy parts, I thought were good. <laughs> and there's this other scene where he... He just does this one thing where he's doing something and like, it was just funny. I liked his reactions to the things that were happening. I thought it was very realistic. It was something that a child would do, in my opinion. So that was very pleasing to me. And their character arcs, as I said, it pays off in the end of the film. It's a very good payoff at the end. And the soundtrack helps out too, because it's this old timey 1950s kind of like record soundtrack to it. Like, you know, and it really helps out making the film even more creepy, which we've noticed like a lot of horror movies kind of do that and they use like those old timey movie music kind of sound that you wouldn't expect, but it really works in this film too as well. And negatives, I would say sometimes the camera shakiness and the footage, it lends itself to telling the story, but sometimes that can get kind of annoying when it's, you just, oh, you're just like this and you're fighting and talking and so I could understand where that gets kind of annoying sometimes and where it can be agitating, but it still lends itself to telling the story. So it works for it. <clears throat> Another thing is there's some stuff in the storytelling that it's kind of a stretch as an audience member to believe some of the stuff that he wants you to believe in it, some of the things, but it was still, if you can get over it, you would definitely enjoy this film. It was a good little thriller ride and the overall twist at the end was something that I didn't mind either because it was simple. It wasn't like one of his big far out of reach stretch twists. And there's a certain scene where the grandma's like talking to the granddaughter and like there's, she's telling a story and you're thinking, Oh wow. Like maybe this might kind of go an M night Shyamalan route for a moment there. And she's telling this kind of wild story, but it ends up being a more simple twist. And I really liked that. It was very powerful and it still hit me too when it happened. So Overall, definitely recommend this film. It's a rent for sure. Definitely enjoy sitting down and getting with your couple or your girlfriend or your boyfriend and enjoying a little thrill ride. And it's, it's a good, scary film. I like it a lot. And overall, I would say for a rating, it'll be an eight out of 10 for sure, definitely. And if you guys like these videos, want more to keep on coming, support the channel, hit that like button, 
hit that subscribe button in the bottom corner for me and everything. And thank you all to who are supporting the channel. Thank you so much and everything. And we'll try to keep these videos going. Peace out.